pilots drain man here and today we are going to be continuing on with the radio master and edge tx playlist this is how to become a radio master you may not want to update firmware and that is extremely okay but you still need to be able to bind to all of your receivers so you can keep the firmware you have there's nothing wrong with that I like the latest and the greatest, but you've got to be able to bind. And in order to do that, the easy way, you're going to want to put your binding phrase on here. And it's just a simple set of words or word or words, plural, not plural, that will be the same word that you'll put on a receiver. And when those two words exist together in the air, they will grab each other and your quads will just work. And it's just quite amazing. It really is. I, I, I really do love Express LRS. So today we are going to learn how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is just download the configurator. That is very, very simple. So let's go ahead and pull up a browser and we're just going to go Express LRS config download. Boom. And it says this looks like installing. So will this have our download? We will click right here, Express LRS Configurator, click. And then you can download the latest version. The latest is 1.7.10 at the time of this video. And then you'll just scroll down and pick the correct package that belongs to your device. Install it and then you'll be ready to roll. So once you've done that, I've got mine down here. I will click this button. All right, my Express LRS configurator is open. As you'll see, I have the same V1.7.10 that was available and the latest that was on their website. The official releases are here. If you don't want to mess with pre-releases, you can uncheck this box. It looks like either way, the most recent latest is 3.6.0. So what we need to do is scroll down and pick our target. Our target is our device. So if you are running a pocket, pick pocket. If you are running, pick pocket. <laughs> if you're running a boxer, pick boxer, so on and so forth. I have the TX15. So I'm gonna click device category. I'll scroll down to radio master. And I run 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, most people do. And then you have Radio Master 900 megahertz. Some people run that. I, I don't know the statistics, but I'm 2.4. So naturally, I want to click 2.4. If I do, I won't find my radio because it's not about which one do I run. It's about what does the radio do. And this radio is a dual band radio. So I will need to select Radio Master Dual Band. And as we just discussed, I have the Radio Master TX15. And again, it's dual band. Please pick the one that is for you. You won't break your radio, but you will have to reflash if you don't flash the correct one. All right. We are not going to do Edge TX pass through. We are going to do Wi Fi. We're going to scroll down. We're going to stay standard. We're not going to do home network right now. If you do want to learn about that, jump in the comments. Let me know. We can handle that. We're going to head down to our binding phrase. I do want to use that because that is very, very awesome. That is what makes this awesome. And we just went over how that works. And then my custom binding phrase is, hey, pilots. All right. So Wi-Fi devices. We want to leave this default. We don't want to force flash and we don't want to click flash now. We just want to build this. So we're going to click build. I did forget to pick my 900. I do apologize. We are FCC. So now we're going to hit build and it's going to build our entire firmware for us based off of our parameters with our binding phrase and then we're good to go. So follow Drainman on this. This is important. What we're going to do is we're going to come up to our documents. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click open a new window. And I'm going to come side by side and I'm going to scroll down to FPV and then I'm going to scroll down to my new Radio Master TX15 and I'm going to drag and drop this file over there so I don't lose it. Now I know where it is. 
I'll click out this X and I can leave this here for now. You're going to click download Lewis script. And the reason why we want this is because we've already built it. Our binding phrase, our selections, our model, our firmware, our stuff, we should update our Lua. I don't want to save it over here in some random spot. Again, stay organized. We're doing this the drain man way. FPV folder, TX15, save. All right. We are officially done with the Express LRS configurator. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Now we are not flashing the radio, so we don't need to turn the radio on in programming mode. We just need to get access to the storage. We are just simply gonna take our USB, C, and we are gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna power up. Welcome to HDX. And I'm not powering up, in programming mode. I do want storage, which is my SD card. Now, as you can see, it's telling me I'm in USB. And if we jump over to the PC, there she is. All right, so we're gonna slide this to the side and we're gonna slide this to the side. The first thing I wanna do is go into my scripts and then I'm gonna go to tools and then I'm gonna take this new Lua and I'm gonna drop it in. It should prompt me to overwrite. So I'm going to drop. And yes, I want to replace the file in this destination. All right, pilots, really quick. Before we get started, you should probably back up your radio if you want to. I'm not going to. This is a new radio. But if you want to back up, simply open up your radio or remove the SD card, copy all of its contents, and save them in a folder somewhere on your computer. And if all else fails, you can copy those and put them back on. So now that we've done this, I'm going to close this out. And... I can go ahead and disconnect my USB. So I'm gonna pull that out. I'm going to go ahead and head over to my Lua script. So I'm gonna press system. I'm gonna get to tools. I'm going to go to apps and I'm gonna run Express LRS. I wanna scroll down to Wi-Fi connectivity. I'm gonna select there and I'm gonna select enable Wi-Fi. So now I should be able to go to the PC, head over to my Wi-Fi, find the Wi-Fi that it's putting out. If it asks for a password, which mine did not, it is simply Express LRS. That is the password to the Wi-Fi. What I just did, run your app or your Lua, go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi right here, update binding phrase right here, see it, see it, binding phrase, type it in, type save, Disconnect, you're done. Don't even touch the firmware if you choose to. Here's what we're gonna do now because we are updating firmware. We're gonna scroll up, we're gonna click update. I'm going to click on select firmware file. I'm gonna head over to my documents, FPV, Radio Master TX15, and notice how easy and simple it is for me to find this stuff because we put it where it belongs. Organized, nice, spiffy, the drain man way, huh? All right, so now we already know this is this firmware.bin. I'll click open. And as you can see, it is uploading. That time is coming. <laughs> oh, it's flashing already all on its own. I didn't even... <laughs> oh, update succeeded. <laughs> All right, there we go. Please wait for a few seconds while the device reboots. So let's go ahead and enable Wi-Fi again. Let's get back on it and let's see if our binding phrase is there and flashed, which it is. And look what it's telling me. Radio Master TX15 2.4 slash 900, which is the dual band that we selected, our firmware version. 3.6 pilots we are there we are done i hope that you guys are following along with this playlist i hope that you'll make your radio as awesome as mine will be i hope that you guys are having as much fun as i am and i will see you on the next one